Let's do an example where some complications creep in. Let's look in particular at this example. And perhaps the first thing you notice is that we're not to give in an interval here. The last problem we did, we were told x equals this, x equals that. You're looking at the interval between those values. Nothing like that here, let's take a look at the graphs of these functions and see what we see. Here are the graphs and you see these two curves trap a region between them here and they trap a region between them here. So without explicitly saying that x runs from this to that, the question we're asking does make sense. The next thing you notice, an additional complication our formula is the integral of the upper curve minus the lower curve. Here the upper and the lower curve switch. If we look at this part of the graph, um, the cubic is the upper curve and this straight line is the lower curve. Here they switch, now the straight line is the upper curve and the cubic is the lower curve. And the way we're going to deal with this is we're going to split the problem into two. We'll find the area of this region. Then we'll find the area of that region. So for this region, the upper curve is the cubic. And the lower, we're still just looking at this, the lower curve is this straight line. We are obviously missing something thing. We need limits of integration. Let's put those aside momentarily. When we find the, inter, um, the area of this region, our upper and lower curves have switched roles. Now this negative 2x plus 5 is upper. And this cubic is lower. And we'll find these integrals. The first is this area, the second is this area, and we'll add them together. Limits of integration. Okay, 
as we sort of read this curve from left to right, as it were, this region starts at a point of intersection between this straight line and this curve, and it ends at another point of intersection. For this region, again, it starts at a point of intersection and ends at a point of intersection. So we'd like the points of intersection where f of x equals g of x, where negative 2x plus 5 equals x cubed minus 7x squared plus 12x minus 3. Now, because this is a classroom problem, this equation was designed to have nice solutions, but unless you happen to have committed the third degree cubic formula to memory, we don't really have a good general way of solving such equations. So, we will run to technology for help. One, two, and four. So, the first point of intersection is one, the second is two, the third is four, and our limits of integration are now known to us. And we have to compute this integral and this integral, and this is not going to be the funnest thing, but it should at least be straightforward. Let's combine any terms first of all. In the first integral, we've got an x cubed, a negative 7x squared, 12x minus negative 2x, negative three minus five, In the second integral, once again, we'll combine any like terms. We've got a negative x cubed, a negative negative 7x squared, negative 2x minus 12x, 5 minus negative 3. Okay. The antiderivative of this 1 fourth x to the fourth minus seven thirds x cubed plus seven x squared minus eight x from one to two. Negative one fourth x to the fourth 
plus seven thirds x cubed minus seven x squared plus eight x from two to four. Stick two in here, two, four, eight, sixteen fourths minus eight times seven, fifty six thirds plus four, seven times four, twenty eight. Twenty eight minus sixteen. Stick one in here. Plus Four in here. Let's see. Four to the fourth divided by four, four cubed, uh, sixty four. Negative sixty four. Thus, four, I'm going to type this into a calculator. Seven times four cubed, um, 448 divided by three minus, Four squared is a sixteen times a seven. Um, eight times four, thirty two. <laughs> Minus, sorry, I should be trying to project enthusiasm probably, but I'm not very enthusiastic about this, truth be told. Two to the fourth, 16 minus four. is negative four, uh, two times eight plus 56 thirds, two squared is four minus 28 plus 16. And I am not going to do this sum by hand. I don't know who would benefit if I did that. I am going to pause the recording and do it and then unpause. And this is the area between those curves. It, uh, it did get away from us for a bit. It was a pretty, uh, pretty intensive bit of math, but we got there in the end.